When the Gordon College Student Symposium was first conceived in 1997, it was unfortunately a typical academic idea that we should bring in speakers and have students listen to them. But quickly students reacted to that and said, we're tired of listening, we want to speak. And so in 1998, we began the Student Symposium as we know it, in which students themselves initiate presentations around a theme. This year's theme is the image of God. People have wondered, how is it that we are made uniquely in God's image? What is it about humans that sets us apart from the rest of creation? The idea of the image of God, the, the Imago Dei, as being the, the thematic topic of, uh, of this year's symposium really opens up uh, a spectrum of discussion. We think of biblical studies. Uh, in art, we think of those things of an iconic nature. But I think how we recognize the image of God within the uh, uh, within all attributes of creation, I think becomes uh, something that uh, all of our friends in the sciences also uh, can enter in discussion of. We chose that particular theme this year for a couple of reasons. A very practical reason is we're having an Imago Dei, an Image of God conference, uh, that's coming up soon in the spring. But also we're concerned that there is now uh, an attack in the secular academy and secular press on the whole notion of the specialness of humanity. Uh, are we a little lower than the angels, or are we just the top of the food chain? Uh, if we're just the top of the food chain, then we're, like everything else, we are an accident of time and space and chance. If we are a little lower than the angels, then there's something in us of the very character and nature of God. We have students who will uh, sponsor or give lectures and have responses to those. They form panels. One of the things they very much like to do is to find two professors that they know disagree with each other and put them on the panel. The students do a marvelous job um, and take it very, very seriously. In some ways I almost wish that we had two or three symposiums that went on over the course of the year. The students have an opportunity to set the agenda, to draw the attention of their peers and their professors to questions that really matter they become the experts and the discussion leaders on Symposium Day. We have two art exhibitions so far, a worship service, and a number of other presentations that will constellate around this theme. We also have often service projects, usually having to do with the environment and creation care around our own campus and the roads and, uh, and environment nearby. One of the things students often want to know is whether or not they can receive Christian Life and Worship credit for participating in Symposium, and the answer is yes. Students are able to attend as many as they want and receive up to six credits for the day. So we invite students to be creative, uh, to give themselves over to this, and frankly, to take a break two or three weeks before finals begin.